Hello YouTubers, welcome to or welcome back to the channel. Charles here with Hellcat Entertainment bringing you another product review. In this review, we are gonna be reviewing Newer's LPE6NH triple battery pack with charger. This video is gonna be short and sweet. We're gonna go into what you get inside the kit and basically my usage with them. I've been using them for about a month now, so I'll just let you know what I found, pros and cons of using these batteries and if they're worth it. As of making this video, you can find this kit here for about $55 shipped compared to the Canon battery, which you only get one battery for $80. So we'll go in depth of letting you know pros and cons of these and if it is worth it. So let's dive right into what you get into the kit. So in the box, you're gonna get not one, not two, but three batteries. You'll get the charging block and you'll also get a USB-C cable to connect to a power cube or to connect to your computer. Unfortunately, it does not come with a power cube itself, so you're gonna to have to find something to plug the USB-C cable into. You'll see on the back of these batteries that it's gonna replace the Canon LP-E6NH. It's rated at 7.2 volts at 2,250 milliamp hours compared to Canon's 2,130 milliamp hours. Now don't let that fool you, just because this does have a higher rating, in theory it should last a pinch longer than the Canon battery, but we'll go over that in detail later. The charging dock gives you the ability to charge all three batteries simultaneously and you have two options to connect it. You have the normal A to B uh, micro USB port or you could use the new USB-C standard, which I do recommend using the USB-C because it will allow you to charge these a lot faster and it will show you the display of all three batteries simultaneously letting you know which one's charged, what they're charged to, and they do charge independently, which is great. Now it's the time to talk about real world use of these batteries. Are these batteries good? Do I recommend them? I would definitely say yes. You could pick up three batteries for $55 with a charger as opposed to one Canon battery for $80 that does not come with a charger. Now, in regards to does this last as long as the Canon battery? Yes and no. So as far as photography is concerned, when I'm shooting photos only, I do notice that they last about the same amount of time. Uh, it's very rare that I actually kill a battery during a photo session in regards to when doing like glamour photos or photos with the model. Uh, I usually shoot for maybe an hour to two hours. I come up with anywhere from 300 to 500 frames before finishing up the set. So in that respect, the newer battery hasn't died on me. The Canon battery hasn't died on me. In regards to video creation, however, I do have to say that the Canon battery does perform a lot better. I wouldn't say it's a significant amount, but I do feel that the newer batteries do drain a lot quicker and I have to replace the battery a lot sooner when shooting video. Now, in percentage wise, I guess you could say that the uh, newer battery is probably maybe 80 to 85 percent of what the Canon battery would be because when I do a video session for instance I do actually run out of the Canon battery as well but when I swap it to a new battery there's not much more that I need to do on that second battery opposed to when I'm shooting with newer batteries only I definitely drain out the first battery and I almost drain out the second battery as well so I must say that the Canon battery when it comes to video production the Canon battery is superior by just a small margin. All in all though, I haven't seen any battery bloating that some people say that they find in regards to when using these like Chinese knockoff batteries and things like that, but I've only been using this for a month. So I haven't experienced that yet. It slides in and out of my camera just fine. No bloating there. I do not recommend using these batteries in your camera body to charge them. I do recommend using the newer base only. Now I have charged it in my camera just to see if it does work, and yes, it does work, but since that is not a specific newer charger made for the newer batteries, I don't know if in the future, if I continue to do that, is this battery gonna explode in my camera? Is it gonna damage my camera in some way, shape, or form? That I'm not sure of, so the only thing I can recommend is use the newer charger for the newer batteries only and do not charge these in your camera body. Although yes, it's capable of doing so, but for a prolonged period of time, I'm not sure. I guess if you're in a pinch and you need to quickly charge the battery, which you don't have the battery station with you, then 
by all means, like do so, but use your own caution and discretion because I, I have no idea what can happen there. I have taken my Canon battery and put it in the newer charger, and yes, the newer charger will charge the Canon battery, but again, it's not designed for that battery. They do have a slightly different uh, milliamp hours on the batteries, so longevity-wise, is that gonna be safe for the battery or the charger? That I don't know, so again, I only recommend charging the, cam the Canon battery within your camera bar body like it's made for, or charge the Canon battery in the Canon charger that is made for that battery and do not cross swap the charging. It will do it, yes, but again, prolonged, I I'm not sure and I'm not gonna be responsible for any of your guys' gear. I'm not gonna be pushing the limits on my own gear because I don't wanna damage my gear just because I wanted to, to you know, charge a battery in a battery charger that's, that's not made for it. So all in all, once again, yes, I do recommend this battery kit. I feel it's a really great bang for your buck, getting three batteries and a charger that's capable of charging all three batteries simultaneously for $55 compared to $80 for one Canon battery. That's almost a no-brainer. Now, the only thing that I wouldn't necessarily recommend these for because the, the video is a lot more taxing on the battery and these batteries die a lot quicker is if you are a wedding photographer or videographer, I mean, and you're shooting events that are very pressing for time where you really need to be hot on your on your feet, making sure that you don't miss a beat, then I would recommend going with the Canon batteries that last a lot longer because of the fact that there's gonna be less potential of downtime and you don't wanna be missing a shot or missing a scene because of the fact that you need to change your battery more regularly. Uh, the other option that I'd recommend for those people would be to get the, um, the hand grip that allows you to put two batteries in it simultaneously, that then probably would be a, a lot better of a solution for wedding uh, photographers and videographers as well. So that way, again, less, less downtime. But bottom line is, would I buy this again? Absolutely, I'm actually considering about getting another set, just that way I have six. Am I ever actually gonna need six batteries? Uh, so far I've never been in that situation. I usually use maybe two batteries max. I think one time I almost popped in a third battery, but they're just, it's just nice to have them on hand. I mean, every now and then we forget to charge batteries, we forget to do things. So just having all these batteries on hand would, would to me, I just feel better about it, knowing that I'm not gonna have any potential downtime. Um, the other thing too that I noticed that's great about these batteries is if you don't have them on the charger for a couple of days, they, they don't really like leak any energy. So they still have almost a full charge on them after sitting for days, which is great. Uh, I know some uh, Chinese knockoff batteries and things like that don't do so. You could let them sit for two or three days and next you know they're down to 50% already. These uh, will at least stay at like, uh, let them sit for three days. When I popped it into my camera, it showed full charge. Uh, when I popped it back into the charger, it showed it was at like 90, 96, 97%. So not too much energy leak there by letting them sit around. So all in all newer, I feel they did a great job. I would recommend these. And that's pretty much the bottom line. So if you liked this video and you liked the information I provided for you and you want more of this information, please be sure to hit that like button down below. Smash that like button, hit that subscribe to the channel so you won't miss any of the new videos coming up and that way I can continue creating this content for y'all. And I will see you on the next video. Peace.